This short meditation video uh, is mainly to do with the relationship with difficulties in staying present and alive to your experience in the context of meditation. So the two ways that I want to explore this is when you get preoccupied with things and that takes you away. Uh, you get actively involved in thinking or uh, fantasizing, imagining things and that sends you away from the direct vivid experience. And the other is the sense of disengaging uh, and getting distance from your experience where you're, you in a way close down from experience. Now these two poles of closing down and being act, going actively away <coughs> actually have their own particular qualities. There are something, they are something that you can recognize for yourself over time. You can start to uh, know, ah oh, yes, at this moment I'm sort of getting distance and closing down and, and being disengaged from experience. So what I need to do here is find ways of becoming more vividly engaged, perhaps a bit more active, engaged, more clear about what it is that I'm engaging with. Or, on the other hand, you notice that your mind is getting preoccupied or involved in certain trains of thought, such as planning, for example, <coughs> and you've gone away from experience in that. So in that sense you need to calm that down and arrive and settle back into experience. So one is you're stimulating and focusing and being clear about your focus and the other is you're sort of calming and settling the mind to come into experience of what is actually here in the whole sense of yourself initially. And then from there, you can start to engage more particularly with uh, meditation objects like the body or the breath uh, and so on. So this approach is very simple in a way to describe, but the real art here is getting a personal recognition of the ways that you go away from direct vivid experience. And these two tendencies of disengaging, closing off, cutting off, getting distance on the one hand, and on the other hand the sense of the mind going off onto something and going away with it, getting excited even by it, are the two main ways, the two main experiences you could say of difficulties and distractions in meditation. So how does it feel? That's the sort of question. What does it feel like when you're cutting off and disengaging and closing down from a vivid awareness? How does it feel to you? And over time, the more that you become familiar with it, the more that you'll know it, the more that you'll know that actually this is not how you want to be either. You want to be more in touch, more alive, more present. So this uh, closing down or cutting off or being distant, it's become something that you see as contrary to what you value and what you want. And that is an important part of the process of coming back into experience. And the same holds true for the way that one goes away from experience into thought and fantasy and ideas, uh, conceptualization in all its different forms. You notice how your mind gets excited and caught up and you, you recognize that, you get the sense of it. And in that you get the sense, well actually, that I'm not here, I'm just away 
running, my mind is just running away and jumping away. So how do I come back? And that recognition helps you have a choice that I don't want to be like that, I want to come back. And that motivation is central to developing a full, vivid, direct, experiential presence.